<clears throat> Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. Courage to change. And you are loved. Yes, you are. Going on a healing journey after the loss of a family member due to addiction. This is my something for myself and also hoping to help somebody else out there. So thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. This is our reading for February 24th. Isn't it exasperating to go to the grocery store for an item only to find the shelf empty? Fortunately, grocers can correct that situation by taking inventory to learn which shelves need replenishment. The same is true for me. A four-step inventory illuminates my own empty spaces, my shortcomings. This doesn't have to be a painful or scary experience. I don't have to pass judgment on an empty shelf, but unless I take the time to become aware of it, I won't do anything to fill it and the problem will continue. By taking inventory, my empty spots can be filled with the help of the remaining steps. I experience the healing power of these steps whenever the formerly hurtful circumstance reoccur while the pain that I once felt does not. Today's reminder, when I can't find a solution to a problem, when I have nagging doubts, fears, and frustrations, when I feel lost and confused, a searching and fearless moral inventory of myself can make a tremendous difference. Whenever I work the steps, I tell my higher power that I am willing to heal, to find a solution to feel better. The energy that would have been dumped into worry, tears, an obsession can be turned into positive action. And our quote, We all wish good things to happen to us, but we cannot say, just pray and then sit down and expect miracles to happen. We must back up our prayers with action. And that's from Freedom from Despair. This is our reading for February 24th. And there is a lot to be said about taking accountability, responsibility, and action for what we need to do to allow ourselves to heal. Those empty spots, those empty spots on the shelf, those empty spots within us. What do we seek? What are we seeking? I find myself, when those empty spots occur, I'm very frustrated. I'm, I, I, it's distraught. And I don't realize what's missing. Our initial reaction is usually extremely negative, which is not empowering whatsoever. What we want to do is empower ourselves. We are going to have these moments when we don't feel that our, all of our shelves are full, that there's something missing, that there's something empty. And this is the time to sit and reflect. Take a moment to reflect what is really missing. Pray on it. Ask for it to be filled up. Ask for that shelf to be full. Then be patient and allow it to happen. Too often we want to force things. <laughs> we want control and we want to force them. And it's best to allow things to happen for us. This is our reading for February 24th. 
And it's time for us to start taking action on what's empty. To fill it up. Find a way to fill it up. Find the tools and resources that will help fill up those empty spaces. So you don't feel distraught or the fear anymore. Thank you for being here. Thank you for going on your healing journey. This is February 24th. And a reminder that you are.